Psalm 52 verse 8 In the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. But I am like a green olive tree in the house of God. I trust in the mercy of God forever and ever. Amen. Children of God, he said, the day is here. The beauty and the glory is here. Here for those who know that mercy comes from his throne. You will overcome, and your eyes shall see what the Lord shall do unto them who are boastful and trusting in their gods. The people of the world are controlling the activities of the children of God, trying to make you to succumb unto their gods. The Spirit of God says the mischief the spirit of mischief shall be consumed. Even the rivers shall see and flee. The mountains shall clap their hands. And every intention of man shall never befall your tents. The world is aiming to control what does not belong to them. The spirit of God is telling you and I, for when you have given your all unto him, and not unto man, he shall plant you in his courts, and nothing shall frighten you. Which leads us on to the message, which is taken from the book of Hosea chapter 14, from verses 1 to 9. Amen. O Israel, return unto the Lord thy God, for thou hast fallen by thine iniquity. Take with you words and turn to the Lord. Say unto him, take away all iniquity and receive us graciously. So will we render the calves of our lips. As sure shall not save us. We will not ride upon horses. Neither will we say any more to the work of our hands. Ye are our gods. For in thee the fatherless findeth mercy. I will heal their backsliding. I will love them freely, for mine anger is turned away from him. I will be as the dew unto Israel. He shall grow as the lily and cast forth his roots as Lebanon. His branches shall spread and his beauty shall be as the olive tree and his smell as Lebanon. They that dwell under his shadow shall return. They shall revive as the corn and grow as the vine. The scent thereof shall be as the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim shall say, What have I to do any more with idols? I have heard him and observed him. I am like a green fir tree. From me is thy fruit found. Who is wise? And he shall understand these things. Prudent, and he shall know them. For the ways of the Lord are right, and the just shall walk in them. But the transgressors shall fall therein. Amen. The world has made the people to surrender. The Spirit of God has come to speak about deception. So deceiving shall be noticed. So deceiving shall be deceived. The people of God, repent from your evil deeds. The Spirit of God is telling you and I, Follow the toe that is leading into the house of peace. For the people of God are not towing into the house of peace, but into the house of subjection. He said greed has been the teacher. Greed has been the mother. Greed is making man to think of how he might trick his neighbour. Hosea has been sent to warn us to repent. The Spirit of God said, some of us think we have a broad chest, but we are forgetting that this chest is a chest of the flesh. The word of God is still sounding his voice so that there may be changes. For the only way back into the house of peace is by repentance. For the great deception has made the people of God to forget 
where they are coming from. The great deception has made the people of God to give out what is not supposed to be given out. The people have become erroneous. Everything they do, he said, is in the hand of the spirit of deception. We know grey hairs is in the hair of the old. But now young men are becoming grey with their backs bent. And the spirit of God said, we have lost our radiance. You are not bright anymore. You are not radiant. To bring this back, do away with the evil thoughts, he said. So when you haven't even come inside, someone saying at the gate, come in, come in. Oh, children of God. The spirit of God is saying the world has made you succumb and surrendered everything that is yours. So when the job is there, you arrive. All that is left for you is them saying to you that a job has been taken last week. Because your radiance, you have surrendered your radiance. Stop supporting the spirit of Asur. Because of deception, you have been scratching and can never find answers. He said some of us will never believe where the causes of us marking time is coming from. Sometimes you are brought into something that later you realise that this is not your size. The spirit of deception. The spirit of deception is ensuring that where you are supposed to be the master, you are cleaning the teacups and the saucers. I say unto you again, until you take heed unto his voice, you will never be who you are supposed to be. Verse 5 says, I will be as the dew unto Israel. He shall grow as the lily and cast forth his roots as Lebanon. Amen. And concerning this verse, he said, Oh, if you can adjust yourself and have no doubts. The trust you have for man, you give it all. The spirit of deception has made you to shed your leaves before your time. The spirit of God has come to say, Look, buddy, that friend is not a friend at all. Brothers and sisters, realise that all this time you have been walking with a mask on your face. In other words, your brightness has gone. Something that is supposed to ignite your progress is not there. He said, how can you light a candle and not have a lighter? This is what is happening to you. So when you get to the gate, rather than hearing, come in, come in, what you're hearing is, what are you doing here? Verse 6 says, His branches shall spread, and his beauty shall be as the olive tree, and his smell as Lebanon. Amen. And his smell as Lebanon. After reading this, the Spirit of God, is directing us to the book of Genesis chapter 27, verse 15, which says, And Rebekah took goodly raiment of her eldest son Esau, which were with her in the house, and put them upon Jacob, her younger son. Amen. And also given us the verse 27, which says, And he came near and kissed him, and he smelled the smell of his raiment and blessed him and said, See, the smell of my son is as the smell of a field which the Lord hath blessed. Amen. And he said, The world cannot hit you until they get the cloth which identifies you. Satan is not a fool. He knows how to draw you onto him 
and he knows how to belittle you before him. For this reason, Hosea was sent unto us, sent unto us to tell us what happened while we were sleeping. He said, many of us idolize what should not be near us. We embrace what is coming to take your cloth from you. But the Spirit of God says, your radiance shall come back. In other words, the job you applied for some time ago which rejected you, many of you do not know the reasons why you cannot get up in the morning. And you think it's just one of those things. It's not. Yet, you do not know where it is coming from. Rebecca turned Esau upside down. Even the world can notice when the younger brother is ruling over the elder brother. The brightness, your brightness has been sold, says the Spirit of God. Sometimes the choices you make takes the brightness away. He said, what was the choice you made that has created the ladder with which the enemy will use to climb into your life? If you can recognize what you're hearing, Hosea chapter 14 verse 5, that line shall come to pass in your life, which says, I will be as the dew unto Israel, he shall grow as the lily. Grow as the lily, meaning your investment shall work for you and sort out every plan you may need to undertake. Now, you have the antidote to their lies. These are the words of my master.